Hi everyone, it's Christian from Human Risk with a story of terrible decision making from Canada. Meet Franklin Hortforster, the president and CEO of Ottawa-based Collier's Leaders Project. According to his bio, Hortforster is, and I quote, a skilled storyteller. So let me tell you a story he recently told his employees. In an internal video, Hort Forster reports that the company has been facing financial difficulties and that they have taken measures that unfortunately included some layoffs. He tells them they can help avoid more. I'm asking everyone, he says, to work a full week and to record an additional eight hours of vacation onto your timesheet every week in April and May. This, he claims, has already saved a number of jobs and 95% of his staff have been doing it. Now you might be thinking this is a great story of a company pulling together to save jobs. You'd be wrong. Here's just two of the many reasons. Firstly, it's highly coercive. By highlighting that 95% of staff have participated, Hort Forster is deploying a technique called social proof. The idea that if we know lots of other people are doing something, we're more likely to do it ourselves. Yet if there really were that many members of staff voluntarily giving up their vacation, then why does he need to make a video? The answer is they haven't. They might have done what he wanted, but it almost certainly wasn't voluntary. As the Canadian media reported, employees who didn't cooperate were spoken to about it by their line managers. Hort Forster has framed the situation as a false choice between layoffs and vacation, implicitly suggesting that not foregoing earned vacation time is to be in favor of layoffs. And that's clearly not true. He wouldn't like it if his employees forcibly stole things from the company, yet he's literally engaging in a form of shakedown, extorting them to give up their vacation. It's the kind of tactic we expect from gangster protection rackets. And it sets a really bad tone from the top, suggesting it's an appropriate way for others to behave. Secondly, what Hort Forster is asking of his employees is for them to falsify official timekeeping records by recording that they've taken vacation when in fact they haven't. There's a word for that, fraud. It's also illegal under Canadian labor law. And even if it wasn't, it's worth remembering what business the company is in. Project leadership, which they helpfully define as beyond project management. It's more than management, it's leadership. Presumably the reason they have timesheets is because they work on client projects and they need to accurately record time spent on them. It's unlikely that Hort Forster would think it was acceptable to record time to a client project that hadn't actually been spent working on it. Yet that's effectively what he's asked his employees to do. It's just that the people he's asking them to steal from on the company's behalf is themselves. With one simple instruction, let's call it what it is, he's simultaneously undermining the integrity of their processes and fostering a culture of coerced compliance. I'm not suggesting that Hort Forster intended to send these signals. Like many CEOs, he'll be grappling with the challenges posed by COVID-19 and wanting to ensure his business survives. So he was probably just responding to the situation, thinking of the money the firm would save by canceling out people's holidays. But intent is irrelevant. It's the impact the video has that matters, which was clearly negative. There's a reason it was leaked to the media. There were other ways he could have achieved his aims that would have landed better with employees. However, that initial response may well pale into insignificance, compared to the longer term impact he could end up having on his corporate culture. Which makes me question his self-proclaimed abilities as a skilled storyteller. Because in that video, he is telling a story about how he sees his employees and how he wants them to behave. Spoiler alert, these stories tend not to end well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button so others can find it and feel free to follow me on your social media network of choice.